Good morning, Tigers. Miss Melina here. And now it's time for our Reading Our Way Across the USA update. Did we make it to the Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico? What's our next destination? Let's find out. Congratulations once again to third grade who had the highest number of reading minutes again this week. They read 7,339 minutes. Way to go, guys. That is amazing. Now that we're here, let's learn all about the Carlsbad Caverns. It's located in the state of New Mexico, right over here on the bottom right of the state. Native Americans always knew there was a giant cave system snaking around under the porous limestone reef of the Guadalupe Mountains. But white settlers only stumbled upon it a century ago after noticing vast hordes of bats swarming out of a hole in the ground every summer day at sunset. Some 100 caves lie within today's park, an underground world of pale limestone, where every fantastic and grotesque shape imaginable and unimaginable has been sculpted by natural forces. From frozen waterfalls to strands of pearls, soda straws to miniature castles, draperies to ice cream cones. Above all, what is impressive here is the sheer size of the cave. A constantly cool 56 degrees Fahrenheit refuge from the 100 degrees Fahrenheit heat outside in the Chihuahuan Desert. The main cave open to the public, the immense Carlsbad Cavern, offers several options. With smaller kids, you may just want to take the elevator from the visitor center down 750 feet to the big room, which is a pretty understated name for this jaw-dropping rock chamber, whose floor covers 14 acres. If you're more ambitious, follow the traditional explorer's route from the historic natural entrance, winding down for a mile into the depths through a series of underground rooms to the same big room. A self-guided tour from here runs one and one-fourth miles over a relatively level path, and it takes about an hour. Rangers along the way will point out some of the more evocative formations, demonstrating the still-growing dome stalagmites and the dagger-like stalactites jabbing down from the ceiling. Tours of other sections of Carlsbad Caverns range from the easy left-hand tunnel, a half-mile lantern tour, to the difficult Hall of the White Giant, which requires you to crawl long distances, squeeze through tight crevices, and climb up slippery flowstone-lined passages. The two-and-a-half-hour tour of Slaughter Canyon Cave is a far more strenuous cave hike from a different cave mouth altogether, about a 45-minute drive from Carlsbad Caverns. Visitors to Slaughter Canyon Cave will need to first pick up tickets at the Carlsbad Caverns Visitor Center. And if you don't like being underground too long, you can always still join one of the most popular activities at the caves, a sunset gathering at the natural entrance May through October to watch a quarter million Mexican free-tailed bats flap out of the cavern to wheel out over the desert for a night of insect feasting. After all, that's how the Americans found the joint in the first place. Well, that's all for this week. Remember to read, read, read. Tell your friends we can't do it without them. Next week, we're headed to Pikes Peak in Colorado. We will need to travel 545 miles to get there by next Monday. I know you can do it. Remember, you can check out where we've been and where we are now right outside the library. See you next week.